By now we know that we can create multiple tables in Access and create relationships between them. We do that through the Relationship window, which is Database Tools Relationships. So in our Customers database, that is the current layout, our Customers table linked to the Countries table, linked to the Sales table, linked to the Yearly Income table. Now if we want to take a snapshot of the relationships as they stand at the moment, we can do that. Up here on the Relationship Tools Design sub ribbon, there is a Relationship Report. If we give that a click, what it does is it actually creates a report in Access that mimics the layout. And you can see that that's worked pretty fine. Shows me all of the fields within the Customers table. It doesn't show me the report of the screen, so it's not a screenshot. It does take the tables. They're in the same physical location. So these two are here, that one's there, and this one in the middle. But it doesn't give you the scroll by, it does actually show you all the fields. It tells me when it was created, relationships for customers, and it exists where possible on a single page. All I would need to do is then save that report. And you can see it defaults to relationships for customers, so the relationships for my database. But what I'm going to do is actually call it relationships 05. 31 2013 because although it creates a report and when I say okay you'll see the report appear in the report list the report is a snapshot so if I ever change the relationships by adding more fields or adding another table then this relationships report will still exist as it is there as we can see it now you can actually drop into design view and make a few changes if required you may want to move this across, but you can see it's a box and a heading, so you need to make sure you move both together. So I've shift clicked them to keep them together, but then the little arrow doesn't come with it. So it's not ideal, because it's not the best drawing tool, this. If I take that, got it. You can see it doesn't move the end of the arrow. So personally, I wouldn't advise trying to mess around too much with the layout. If it's not quite right, close the report, Go back to the relationship window and adjust it. So we close this and let's not save the changes. Perhaps I want these a bit tighter together and maybe I want the yearly income on that side and the sales down here a bit. Let's see what that looks like. Relationship report. And you can see that then that prints out in the layout I've changed it to and I can then save that with a different name. Let's call it relationships v2 for version two. They both get saved, they're both openable and viewable, and they're both different. They are snapshots. They're not a live connection to your relationship window showing you what's happened or any changes. They are snapshots, which if you're building a database, is actually quite useful because you can keep the snapshots of how things have been going, how the relationships have been building, tables you've added, and changes that you might have made. And you could keep them listed as separate reports here to then open them and print them as required. Now, once you have a relationship report that you might like to effectively extract from your database, then you could just print it to paper, file and print, here's your print button, or we can export it, save object as a PDF, save as relationships v2, and then that opens in PDF format. For me to then email on to my associates, my colleagues, or any interested parties. So that's relationship report option. It's a snapshot at that moment of the relationship window and it is saved as that snapshot. So you can have as many of these relationship reports as you like, taking snapshots as you go, perhaps, showing progress, showing different tables, showing their relationships, and keep them for future reference.